Hello viewers, this is Ghana Tui, where we know bring your latest issues in politics in your country. Can you subscribe to our channel if this is your first time you're watching us and don't forget to put your notification bell on so that as soon as we drop our latest content, it will be available for you to be alerted for you to see. And some while back, we know the clerk of parliament addressed a, a letter asking the, the president to assent to the anti LGBT, which was approved in parliament. And the secretary to the president, Nana Beguti Asante, has also replied to the clerk of parliament not to, under any circumstance, uh, transmit or you should cease or desist from transmitting the bill, the bill to the president until matters before the Supreme Court are resolved. Um, and yesterday, the 10th of April 2024, a clerk of parliament has also replied to the letter which the secretary to the president, Anna Bediou Asante, has sent to him. And the letter or the, the, the letter addressed to the, the secretary of president, Anna Bediou Asante, is here. So I would like us to go to it so that we know exactly what the clerk of parliament has addressed to the secretary of the president, Anna Bediou Asante. So until it reads, until LGBTQ bill, clerk to parliament writes letter, ask presidency when to submit. So the clerk of parliament is asking the presidency. So he's asking the, the one who sent the letter to him and now to something when it is appropriate for him as the clerk of parliament to transmit the bill again. The clerk of parliament, Cyril Ansa, has replied to the letter from the secretary of the president, Nana Bedutia Asante, asking the letter to let him know when to submit the Human Sexual Rights and Family Values Bill 2024 for presidential assent. In the reply dated 10th April, Mr. Ansa wrote that he has taken note of the reason cited by Mr. Asante. He is that awaiting further notification on the next steps. I have taken note of the content of the letter, particularly the text in the last paragraph, which states that in, in the circumstances you are kindly requested to cease and desist from transmitting the bill to the president until matters before the Supreme Court are resolved. Accordingly, I await an indication in writing from the office on when to present the Human Rights, Human Sexual Rights and Family Value Bill 2024 to the Excellency, the President, for his consideration. Pursuant to the Article 1067 of the Constitution, 1992, portions of the letter read. So I really want to ask to look at the letter on your screen. So on your screen over here, you can see President Parliamentary Service, Parliament House, Accra, Ghana, 10th April, 2024. It was addressed to the Secretary of the President, Office of the President, Jubilee House, Accra. Attention. So it's alerting Nana Ubedi to Asante. Dear Secretary of the President, the letter has read, Transmission of the Human Sexual Rights and Family Value Bill 2024. I am writing to acknowledge the receipt of your letter, number OPS 140-1-24-235, dated 18th March 2024, on the above subject matter, and received in my office on 19th March 2024. Two, I have taken note of the contents of the letter, particularly the text in the last paragraph, which states that in the circumstances you are kindly requested to cease and desist from transmitting the bill to the president until matters before the Supreme Court are resolved. Three, accordingly, I wrote an indication in writing from your office on when to present the Human Sexual Rights and Family Value Bills 2024 to His Excellency the President for his consideration. Pursuant to the Article 106, Seven of the Constitution, 1992. Yours faithfully signed, Chris K O S I A, Collect Parliament. His Excellency, the Vice President, Right Honourable Speaker of Parliament, Honourable Majority Leader, Honourable Minority Leader, Honourable Attorney General, and Honourable Chief of Staff. So the Clerk of Parliament is writing to the Secretary, to the President, and I'm as the day to assent to that he should let him know when he's allowed to present or submit the bill for the president to assent. So that's basically what the, the letter 
the clerk of parliament is addressing to the secretary to the president and that due to Asante Wout. Yeah, so this is gonna to can you leave your comments in the comment section if this is the first time you are watching us. Okay, then far from that, let's go into another matters. Let's go to another matters. So in the world of politics again. I remain committed to MPP, Ahadja, Hadja Zakaria. So Hadja Zakaria is giving his her loyalty to the new patriotic party. So she pledged her commitment to the party cause to ensure victory for the NPP. In a surprising turn of events, Hadja Abibata, Sunny Mahama Zakaria, a key contender, contender of the for the parliamentary candidacy in the year the constituency on the ticket of the governing patriotic party has expressed disappointment over the decision of the National Executive Council of the MPP to declare her opponent Ahadji Farouk Ali Mahama as a parliamentary candidate for the upcoming 2024 elections. Yeah, so the issues of the Yendi constituency and uh, for some time now we, we had no person on the MP and uh, recently the, the general secretary Justin Fipo Kudia has confirmed that they've really made Alhaji Farouk as the MP for Yendi constituency on the ticket of the MPP and her contender, his contender uh, Haji as a career was really really disappointed but even in her disappointment she's made it clear to the party that she remains committed to the vision of the party and uh, under no circumstances even though she's she's disappointed by the by the decision made by the national executive council to make her contender Alhaji Farouk the Yeni constituency MP she still remained firm in her values and com and, and and committed to the party in a statement released to the media, Hajia Abibata Sani Mahama Zakaria conveyed her disagreements with the party decisions but emphasized her respect for the party's hierarchy, including President Nana Adodanko Ekufuadu and the presidential candidate, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. Expressing her dissatisfaction with the process, Hajia Abibata Sani Mahama Zakaria lamented the perceived lack of fairness and adherence to the principle of natural justice, natural justice in the selection process. Despite her grievances, she extended gratitude to the delegates and constituents of Yendi for their unwavering support during the parliamentary election held on January 27, 2024, despite reported infractions and electoral malpractices. Calling for unity within the party, Haji Abibata Seni Mahama, Zakaria urged her campaign team members, supporters, and sympathizers to accept the decision of the party and extend their best wishes to a newly declared candidate, Ahaji Farouk Ali Mahama, for the upcoming election. So, this, despite her disappointment, it's urging her supporters and sympathizers to rally behind the person the next National Executive Council of the MPP has declared as the winner of the MPP parliamentary uh, election, uh, Ahaji. Farouk Ali Mahama. She pledged her commitment to the party cause and offered her willingness to undertake any tasks assigned to her to ensure victory for the MPP in both the presidential and parliamentary contest in the Yendi constituency. In conclusion, Hajia Abibata Seni Mahama Zakaria expressed gratitude to her family, ded dedicated team supporters, sympathizers, and well wishes, promising not to undertake any action that will undermine the interest the party so she's further giving us some of the things she wouldn't do so that to undermine the, the interest of the party the statement underscores the complexity and internal dynamics within the NPP as it navigates the path towards the 2024 elections highlighting the challenges of internal party democracy and the importance of unity in the pursuit of political objectives we have viewers so this is where our time will allow us to, to, to leave you this is your first time watching us. Can you leave your comment in the comment section and subscribe to the channel? Don't forget to put on your notification bell so that as soon as we drop our little content, it will be available for you to, to, be available for you to see. Until next time, it's bye for now.